In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called rotate list. So given the head of a linked list, rotate the list to the right by k times, or k places. So here you can see we have a linked list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and if we rotate 1 to the right, uh, of course we're going to rotate 1 to the right, but after that we're going to get 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then if we rotate one more time, you can see we have 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. And the goal is we want to uh, rotate 2 times to the right. So at the end, we're going to return the new head node, which is node 4. And here you can see we have another example where we have three nodes in the list. And uh, after returning, uh, rotating three times, we have the same thing, we have the same list as before. And if we rotate one more time, you can see we have 2, 0, 1. So we can say to say that if the size of the list is 3, and if we were to rotate three times and the size is 3, we're pretty much not rotating anything. Right, so if we are rotating rotating six times, then we're basically it's the same thing. So what we can do is this: we can use a modulo, and and uh, basically we de define how many times we have to rotate. First, we had to define how many times we have to rotate, right? So it's going to be the size. It's going to be how many times we want to rotate. In this case, k, right? Because in this here you can see k is going to be less than less uh, less than or equal to zero, and uh, uh, sorry, bigger than or equal to zero and less than or equal to this number right here. So what we had to do is we had to determine how many times we had to rotate first, which is going to be this, the k modulo of the size of the list. If it's six, modulo three is going to be zero, right? Seven modulo of three is going to be one. So in this case, we know that, okay, well, there's only going to be rotating one times. If it's four, four modulo of three is going to be one. So that means that we're just rotating one time. So after rotating one time, all the elements 1 to the right, in this case we have 2, 0, 1, right, instead of one, uh, 0, 1, 2. So how can we rotate the list? That's the first step, right? We determine how many times we have to rotate to the right. Now we have to see how can we, how, how can we um, rotate the list. In this case, the, the way how we rotate the list is going to be making this list to a circular linked list. And the idea is this, if we were to make this a circular linked list like this, Right, and we're gonna get the tail node points back to the head node. What we're gonna have then is we're gonna basically get, um, we're gonna we're gonna have the tail node point to the root node, and then we're gonna start to um, determine um, where is the, uh, the head node. Once we know the head node, we can just remove that connection and we make it a singly link list, return its head, like this. Basically, let's say we want to re uh, rotate two times, right? In this case, we're just going to get um, right the, the, the size of the list, in this case, 5, minus k, in this case, 2. We just have to rotate three times to find its head, right? 1, 2, and 3. Now, this is the head. We just need a previous pointer that points to the previous node. And all we have to do is we got to get this node dot is equal to points null. So instead of like this node right here, points to node 4, we're going to get this node points to null. And then we're going to get, we're going to get to uh, get return the current node. And that's all, right? We're going to get return this node 4 right here as the current node. So that's the, the, um, the overview of how, how we should do it, right? Basically, the reason why we have 5 plus uh, 5 minus 2 is that we want to find its head, right? So in this case, if we were to reach, uh, rotate two times, the head is always, is always going to be um, the the tail node moving to, back to the um, the the head node, right? So we just want to make sure we find that head, and then cut the connection from the previous pointer, uh, the previous node. Then we're going to return the the the, the current node, which is node four. So now we know how to do this. Let's try to do this in code. So to do this in code, we're going to first define our base case. Okay, so if so let's say we have a node that's null or a node that has only one node in the list. Then we can just return the head node, right? There's nothing to rotate. Uh, then once we have our base case down, we're going to um, make sure we get, or we define our previous pointer as well as our current pointer and make sure we get previous pointer um, points to, um, like basically we want to make sure we connect the tail node uh, to the head node. So once we have the tail node connected to the head node, uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to make sure 
we uh, determine determine how many times how many times we have to rotate and from there we have to determine where is the where is the head node uh, the new head node right the new head node that we want to return in the end the new head then we're going to uh, make sure we delete that connection D delete sorry the connection between head and sorry the previous node and the and the head node then we're going to return the new head okay so let's try to write each and every section uh fill up with those sections here so first we're going to say if head is equal to null or if head dot nest is equal to null then we could just return head okay so then we're going to define our previous and the current pointer so the previous pointer is going to be um it's basically going to be uh the current node and um sorry it, it, the previous pointer is going to be null and then the current pointer is just going to be the head then we're just going to the goal is we want to iterate and try to find a tail node right so in this case, the previous pointer is just there to uh, to 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 find the, the the tail node. So in this case, this node pre is equal to null, and the current node is equal to head. So what we're going to do is this: while head current dot uh, current does not equal null, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get um, pre equal to current. And current is equal to current.nest. We're just traversing until we get to the tail node. So the tail node is going to be the pre. Uh, it's going to be the previous pointer. It's going to be the node that the previous pointer pointed to. Then we're going to determine how many times we have to rotate. So now we have the tail node, which is what the previous pointer is pointing to. Okay, so we're going to get it. We're going to make sure we uh, like make it a circular link list, right? Connect the tail node to the head node. So all we had to do is we're going to get um, current is equal to head, and then we're going to get pre.nest is equal to current. So once we have a circular length list, uh, all we're going to do is we're going to determine how many times we had rotate. So to determine how many times we had rotate, we have to get, um, in this case, the, the number of times we had rotate is going to be the size of the length list, right? So we're going to have another variable there called size is equal to zero initially. And uh, we're going to have size increment by one, right? Every single time. So at the end, we have the size. What we're going to do is we're going to get the size modulo k, which is how many times we have to rotate. And then we're going to, um, uh, sorry, I mean the, uh, k modulo size, which give us how many times we had to rotate. So ro uh, rotate is going to be k modulo size, which is how many times we had to rotate. And then we're going to determine where the head is, the new head is going to be the um, the number of times we had to rotate by the size minus the number of times we had to rotate will give us um, the location of the head. And then we're just going to rotate um, and make sure we delete that connection between the head and the previous node. Right, the new head and previous node, right, the connection. So we're going to have, um, uh, in this case, location is equal to size minus rotate. Give us the location. Then we're going to use a loop. And um, for each iteration, we're just going to um, get the previous po uh, current pointer um, point uh, previous pointer is going to point to current and current is equal to current dot nest. We're going to continuously do that until we get to a point where we get to the location. Now the current is going to point to the head and the previous is going to point to the previous node. Now we're going to get the previous dot nest is equal to null. And then we're going to return the new head node, which is going to be current. So now let's try to run a code and try with a few more examples. So now let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve this legal uh, rotate list problem. 
and the uh, time complexity in this case is going to be linear. And we can also say it's big of n, where n is number of nodes in the link list, because here you can see we're traversing the entire link list to find a tail node, as well as the size of the link list. And here we're just going to um, um, iterate um, k module size, right, and then size minus rotate times, to which basically your location is going to be less than k, uh, sorry, less than n, but still n is bigger, so we're going to get big of n for uh, time complexity, which is going to be linear. So there you have it, and thank you for watching.